Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome to another tutorial for ArcMap RPU 10.0 and this time I'm going to talk about how to determine the projection of an unknown shapefile or feature class. I know you run into that situation as well as I had that I received some shapefiles with no projection. I either downloaded it from, in from the internet or I got it from a friend of a friend of a friend or from another agency and there is no projection and when you add it add that shapefile to your projects it's placed somewhere else you don't know where it is it, it shows up somewhere unexpectedly all right okay now I'm gonna uh, show you how I do it how do I define first I define the projection and sometimes I have to reproject and sometimes just by defining the projection and you guess it right I mean it works greatly sometimes you have to reproject it so define and then reproject it so let's get started and and guys trust me I hate to do this to you but I gotta go into a little bit of a technical lingo so we're on the same page uh, so my projection is either whether you treat the earth as a sphere or a spheroid you must transform its three-dimensional surface to create a flat map sheet. We like flat, man. We don't like round, man. This mathematical transformation is commonly referred as, to as a map projection. Uh, we know as far as can't or cannot be flattened to a plane any more easily than a, pea, a piece of orange, piece of orange peel, can be flattened. So this analogy, man, is pretty much that you grab an orange and you just get the peeling out and you try to flatten it, it's going to rip in different parts. So this is what we're trying to, this uh, this piece of paragraph, this language is trying to tell you, give you a little, you know what, I'm kind of nervous, I'm just going to continue reading. Uh, representing the Earth's surface in two dimensions causes distortion in the shape, area, distance, or direction of the data. And a map projection uses mathematical formulas to relate spherical coordinates on the globe to flat planar coordinates. What we need for this uh, tutorial, we need a fresh session of ArcMap ArcView 10.0, a shapefile with no projection, this is the culprit, and of course a shapefile with projection information, which is the shapefile that you already own, already have, and you already define define the projection for it, the ones that you use it use on a daily basis. Alright, without any more, uh, this is my fresh session of ArcMap with a little difference I already uh, loaded my shapefile with my projection information I'm just gonna show it to you it is um, this is the projection right there so we know it has a projection so I'm gonna load uh, a shapefile let me show you where I downloaded it I downloaded it from this location it is called let me see it is called pa -pa 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 -pa, map cruising Dot com. You can come down here, I grab it here just to find a good example and I did find some good ones. You then click up here at shapefiles, click on that and because I am on the United States I went into, let me see, one it says pretty much uh, open US spatial census uh, free US state shapefiles there you go. Free North American transportation shapefiles for U.S., Canada, and Mexico. And I want to uh, scroll down to the U.S. and I downloaded U.S. ports. All right. You just click on that and uh, a download is going to start. It's in zip format. It's really small. It's good for an example. So that's why I picked this one. So, okay, guys. So you know the website. I'm going to try to add it to uh, in my comments. Okay, let's nice this. So I'm going to load it. I already unzip it and place it on a location on one of my folders add and it's a point theme as you can see I mean the points should appear somewhere over here somewhere over here but they're gone they're not here so now if I zoom full extent there you go all the points are right here let me just prove to you all clustering see how small it is this is the United States of America this is the border of the United States with Mexico and this of course is Canada and this is uh, Alaska and Canada. All right, guys, we need to define the projection of this. How are we going to do this? Well, as you know, a lot of people already walked this path before me. So what I did, I did some uh, research on the web, and I found this handy-dandy document that this guy, which I think, I th really thank him very much, or her, and it, says, it is called Determined Projection for an Unknown Share File or Feature Class, and that's what I call it. And he's given us the guidance how to go and guessing. Uh, 
So, but this is uh, one of the highlights. Uh, first of all, depending of the num of the numbers that we find, as I'm going to explain to you in a second, we're going to determine if it's geographic or is uh, projected. And I'm not going to go into what is what. So I'm just going to click away. So let's get to it. Uh, I need to go back to my project, which is this one. The way to do to find out if is what kind of numbers this uh, feature class has, you go up here, go right click properties click on the source tab and you can see the numbers 64.086 minus 141 minus 666 66.98 and bottom will be 25 and you can see it has no projection okay so now let's bring this document we can see already that this is the one it's minus 89 the left the right is minus 81 this is kind of small and a distance between the two and tops 39 and bottom is 36 well these are the other ones these are the other options so we from uh, right from the start we know it's a geographic projection it WGS 84 datum in decimal degrees so we don't have to look for it so we can give it a try now let's minimize this alright guys so the first thing to do is to go up here into the art toolbox window click on that then we come down to data management tools and projections and transformations expand that define projection we are going to define the projection for our culprit over here just grab from the table of contents and drop as you can see coordinate system unknown we're going to fix that click on this icon at the end at the spatial reference properties box going to select geographic coordinate systems because we know it's geographic and come down to the one that applies to you in my case I'm gonna go with world and I'm gonna go to the bottom and I'm gonna pick WGS 1984 add and go OK and I'm gonna let it go you're gonna start seeing the little marquee that shows uh, the process going there you go it's working ArcMap is crunching numbers for us and if everything goes fine, we're going to get the, the, this beautiful uh, green check mark. So we can close that. So as you can see, it's gone. Sometimes uh, it just, uh, I don't know, it disappeared from our uh, uh, view. And I know if we go into, probably it's not going to work. Let me just do something better. If we go to this shape file that has our own information, we're going to go. Uh, zoom to layer and I'll bet I hope that the dots are there there you go yes 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 let me make, make him bigger and yellower no better red there you go guys uh, and I know that this is the right location for these two port of entries with the Mexican side this is the border this is Mexico right here guys and this is uh, Arizona or the United States there's uh, one port of entry right here another one right here and I can prove it to you I'm gonna try to uh, load a base map from the internet and I hope it's, uh, it comes uh, it shows up alright guys it might give me a, an error message because I don't know I'm in a reprojection projection session but let's give it a try uh, add base map and I'm gonna go with imagery select that one add and I'm gonna put it in pause for a second and it looks like it's working I have not re not received a little X right here so it seems like it's working and there you go guys this is San Luis Rio Colorado and the Mexican side let me just uh, add a little transparency to my township let me go to 52 percent so you can see now you can see this is uh, border town San Luis Arizona and this is San Luis Rio Colorado Mexico and these are those algodones and over here is California so there you go guys it works it just works beautifully you can once you know the projection or define the projection or reproject uh, then uh, it does it for you it reprojects and it moves the feature class uh, there are other, other instances where where when you're gonna have to reproject and this is the same process sometimes when you could do the reprojection by going into the toolbox going to feature uh, project 
you just double click over here and for that one you need to have uh, of course uh, the feature data set that you want to reproject and you need to tell it the output coordinate system in this case we're gonna use the one for the township and all you gotta do instead of select this time you're going to import and you uh, browse to the location of that and let me just show it to you Let's see if I can find it really quick database connections uh, I don't know if it was townships I'm gonna try give me a second it's right here PLS underscore township click on that add and then go OK and it's gonna bring it over here as you can see it and it's gonna give you a transformation geographic transformation uh, options you click it here and you tell it what it's gonna do so I will pick on the bottom one it's, it's WGS 1984 to NAT 1983 I'm not gonna reproject that I'm just gonna leave it as it is once you do it I mean you will uh, assign new project into this reassign or reproject alright guys so I'm not gonna do it so there you go guys this is how you define the projection and also how to reproject uh, data features uh, feature da data classes that you don't know what is uh, the projection they came in alright well thank you for watching and uh, looking forward to give you another tutorial pretty soon thank you